want to share a story to help keep you and your family safe and sound. Furniture and television tip over injuries land a child in the emergency room every 46 minutes, as according to a new study from Nationwide Children's Hospital. While injuries have declined since 2010, experts say more needs to be done to keep children safe. Michael George introduces us to one parent who's been fighting for better safety standards since her own tragic loss. He was just happy and outgoing. Megan DeLong of Sarasota, Florida, lost her son Connor in 2017 when a dresser in his nursery fell on top of him. That is the time that it took for the dresser to kill Connor, was the time it took me to walk from my bedroom down the hall. A study from Nationwide Children's Hospital found that from 1990 to 2019, more than half a million children were treated in emergency departments for furniture or television tip over injuries. In 2019 alone, that number was over 11,000 or one child every 46 minutes. There's absolutely no reason why a child should be injured and certainly no reason why a child should have a lifelong uh, disability or worse to die from a furniture or TV tip over. It is absolutely preventable. Children under six accounted for 70% of those injuries with a peak at age two, just like Connor. The dresser that killed Connor, it meets the current voluntary standard. That standard is not good enough. DeLong and advocates like her are pushing Congress for full passage of the Sturdy Act. It would create mandatory stability standards. But there are safety steps you can take right now. Experts recommend parents secure furniture like dressers to the wall with straps or L brackets. Mount TVs to the wall. Place TVs only on appropriate furniture and anchor both to the wall. And keep TVs and furniture clear of things kids might want to get their hands on. Love you. I love you. DeLong has found healing in working for change. I can't ever bring Connor back, but I can save your child. Sharing Connor's story to help prevent more like it. Michael George, CBS News, New York.